Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I've got for you here Bigger Ute is going to be cooking for you today. So I'm just going to let him introduce himself to you. Yes, yes, yes. Morning people, people, people. Good morning. My name is Bigger Ute. That's my email address, Bigger Ute too. So that's the name I'm going to use. Seeing? Yes. I came to my brothers today. It's Christmas morning. And a man begged me to cook ackee and saltfish for him today. I didn't want to do it, but you know what? I have to do my part. I thought I was coming here to eat and sleep, but that ain't happening today. You know what I mean? So what can I do? Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Ackee and saltfish. Yes, people. So this is the ingredients what I'm going to be using today. So if we go over here. Yes, so what we've got here people, we got onion, yes, nice and fresh. We've got tomato, yes, which everybody knows tomatoes are red, but you can get different colours. This one here is where we have onion, yeah, but this is not onion, it's like onion, but it's spring onion, see? But in Jamaica, we call it skellyan, see? This one here, we got red pepper and green pepper, which is sweet pepper. This one here is the salt fish, which you need the salt fish. This one here, we got pimento and fish seasoning. This one here is where we got the thyme, but some people say thyme. We say thyme because we're Jamaicans, but some people say thyme. So I mean, my niece come and said to me, oh, it's time, but it's not time. We call it fine, see? This one here, we got ground black pepper, right? This one here, oh, is my favorite. This is Aki, straight from Jamaica. So this is one of my best meals. I love Aki. This one here, we got Bami, soaked in milk, okay? So that's all the ingredients what I'm going to be using today. Keep it sweet and simple. All right. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put in our onions. All right. Waste not, want not. So you have to use all of it. Don't waste nothing, yeah? All right. So make that simmer down. The next thing I'm going to put in is my onion and skellion but it's one thing see right make that simmer down stir it a little bit just to get it going get all the oil into the veg all right that's gonna simmer down no way next thing is my sweet pepper my mum said don't waste it right because my mum don't like waste no but that waste nothing you know see it there right that's that one all right that's gonna simmer down okay all right next thing i'm gonna put in is my thyme or my thyme one of them in. and one thing we never say before we've got a little bit of um scotch bonnet pepper here yes and i'm using the seeds what's in there there's not a lot of seeds in there but i'm using them anyway as we said nobody waste nothing all right all right just turn that a little bit make it simmer down Next thing I'm gonna put in is my tomatoes, tomatoes. So they say, we say tomatoes, Americans say tomatoes. All right, my fish can wait for a little bit. My pimento can wait for a little bit. My fish season can wait for a little bit. And my ground black pepper can wait for a little bit. I'm gonna just make everything simmer down for about 15 minutes until it just starts to kind of caramelize. Once it starts caramelizing, 
I'm gonna put in my spices and my fish. Just make everything cook down. Right, that's how I'm going on right now. Okay. Right, so as you can see, I've cooked this down to a caramelized consistency. As you can see, it's starting to turn brown. Yes, that's all the sugar, starting to turn into sugar. And you know everybody loves sugar, innit? Yeah, you see that? Look, nice and brown. That means it's starting to turn into sugar, so it's gonna taste nice and sweet. So now at this stage here, yes, I'm gonna put in my fresh seasoning. Okay. I put the fermento in before. I'm putting a little bit of fermento in again. Right, so this is my fish seasoning. Okay. Oh, I could just smell that already. Even just putting the fish seasoning in there. Okay. Remember I put the scotch bonnet in already with the um, veg. Right. So. And then I'm going to put in my ground black pepper. So just turning that in, turn it round. Can you see? Yep. You know we like a lot of pepper. So I've got scotch bonnet in there already. So this is just to give it a different flavour. You know, elementary flavour. Yep. So just turn it in, black pepper. Alright, so I'm gonna make that this cook out for another 10 minutes. Yes. Until I get this nice brown colour. As you can see the brown colour is coming already. Okay. Then after that, I'm gonna put in my salt fish and then Aki could go straight in. So as you can see, yes mate, that's coming on nicely. See, look at that. I could just eat this by itself, but I ain't. You know what I mean? Because I know my end result is gonna taste better. See? So there you go. Yeah. Yes, people. Right, this is ready now. So what I'm gonna do, just that every great chef always taste it first. Yeah, you have to taste what you're doing. If you don't taste it, and it don't taste sweet, that means you know say it not tastes good. You understand? So you have to taste it. If it tastes nice, then you try a bit again. You see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can taste the pepper, the fish seasoning. Oh, the sweet pepper, pimento. Yes, me can taste everything. So now I'm gonna put in the salt fish. Yep, this is my nice salt fish. Yeah, I don't want to brock it up too small because I like a lot of fish in my um, Akin salt fish. So I'm going to put this in. Yeah. And I'm going to make this just cook for like five minutes just to get color. Yeah, to get a nice color on it. So all the spices soak into the salt fish. Yeah, I don't want to turn it too much. Because I want to taste my big chunks of salt fish. Okay. Wow, look at that. I'm trying to just get a bit of colour into the salt fish. See? Oh, look at this fish. Oh, nice. I haven't put no salt in here. Because I don't cook with salt. Because all the seasoning for me, what you use is enough. Yeah? I want to believe salt should go in certain things, but not acting salt fish. Especially when you've got salt fish. Alright. Wow, right, that is nice. Look at that. Alright. I'm going to just let that cook down for five minutes. No longer than five minutes. You just warming it through. Make all the flavours soak into the fish. Alright. So after that, when that's five minutes, I'm going to put my ackee in, so I'll show you how it looks, okay? One. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put in my ackee, yeah? This is the last stage. So when I put the ackee in, I'm not going to stir it in, I'm going to just shake the pan. Because one thing I don't like is scrambled egg, because I'm not doing scrambled egg, I'm doing ackee and saltfish. 
so I'm using this ackee here so I don't want the ackee to mash up okay so this is what I'm gonna do sprinkle it on the top like so you see how the hack is old I don't want to turn it in so that's all you do just turn it like that shake it all right don't want to mash up the ackee okay it's like I'm sieving it all right just sieve it all right that's it look at that it stays whole yeah see that yeah that looks so nice wow there you go now my fire is going a bit low so that means now it needs to take heat see look at the acne keep it whole so now i'm gonna just let this cook for about seven minutes yeah because the ackee is already cooked okay so we're gonna just warm it through and just leave it okay so we go from there yeah remember just sieve it sieve it sieve it just sieve it in yeah don't break it up all right there you go just like that i'm not touching that again because as I said, I don't want scrambled egg. So I'll show you the end result, how my ackee is going to look. Okay? All right. Yeah. If you like this video, press the like button, share it and subscribe it. Send it to all your friends. Yeah? This channel could go boom. If you don't like it, I ain't doing no more videos again. Yeah, simple. Because I want you lot to like my cooking and like what I'm doing. So press the button, man. You know what I mean? And that goes out to everybody. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fry the bammy. All right, so here I've got my hot oil already yes and it's ready so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start putting the bami in and push them in the middle so just to soak up the oil here push it in the middle hot oil because you know sometimes bami can soak up the oil so all the bami is at the edge of this frying pan so i'm pushing them in the middle okay you don't need a lot of oil on the bami right so there you go next one Okay. There you go. Just put them all in, shake them up. Make sure they're well oiled on each side. So when I turn them over, whoa, that one's hot. Nice and hot. That's what I want. I want it to be nice and brown, the bami. So the more bami I put in there as well, the frying pan will get a bit cooler. All right, so that's what I want. So it's cooling down a bit now. So, when I turn them over, I'll show you. But now I'm gonna just let them brown off on one side. Okay, there you go. Yes, people, 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 yes, my bammy is ready to turn over. Yeah, because uh, I'm sure they're nice and brown on the other side now. So this is, I'll just turn all of them over and leave it for another five minutes, yeah? All right, there you go. I'm just turning them over. Kids, don't do this at home with your hands. Yeah, if you're in the kitchen, I'm used to the heat. Yeah, because I'm a baker, so I'm used to this heat. So, this is, I'll just brown them off. This sort of brown consistency, yeah? good to go so this is how i like it to look all right just nice and brown just like so okay 
Yeah. Look at that. So it's got a nice little crust on the outside. Yeah. And soft on the inside. Remember it was soaked in milk and salt. Yeah. Because bami can have a blunt taste if you don't put a little bit of salt in the milk. So that's why we put um, a little bit of salt in there. Yeah, just to soak it. Right? So that's how I'm gonna just make it. Remember that song? Simmer down. Right, there you go, there you go. I'm gonna just leave that for a bit. And then, boy, that will be ready. See? Mm hmm. All right. When it's ready, then I will show you all, okay? Remember to like, share, and subscribe so I can fry some more bami and salt fish and rice and peas and everything what you want to see me do you can put it in the description what you want me to cook or oh, my Mr. D cook with Mr. D see alright so people 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 friends and family all over the world this is the end product Aki salt fish and bami yes fried bami so when you want me to cook this again just let me know as you can see the bami is nice and brown you can see that the ackee is full and you can see the salt fish yes and i taste some already and trust me it tastes good thanks for watching remember to press the button like subscribe and share thank you right everybody that was bigger youth thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one